Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my manga collection. I only have like two bookcases for my mangas. And this brown bookcase right here is just a bunch of miscellaneous things like figures and all that stuff, which I hide behind the curtain. So here's my bookcases. This is what they look like. One of them's covered up because I got a window over there and the sunlight tends to shine through during the evening time. So, so the first thing we have on this front shelf is a card captor Sakura one fourth scale figure. She was like around $200 or something. Actually, she went up. It was supposed to be released earlier last year and it was supposed to be free shipping but I had to pay for shipping because of COVID and everything. This is the figure. Absolutely love it. I love how pretty it looks. This is my largest figure so far. So cute and I only have volumes one and two of the collector's edition for the manga. Hoping to get the rest. I just have two right now so I'm displaying the covers like that and I think it looks so nice on the top shelf. And here on the next shelf we got Full Moon volume one through seven. This story is so tragic. I saw the anime first and I I cried like twice. It was so sad but so good. It's a romantic tragedy. Recommend it if you like that kind of stuff and you want to cry. <laughs> and the next one we have The Gentleman's Alliance by the same author as Full Moon. This one I haven't read yet. I think I only read like the first volume and it's been such a long time so I totally do not know or remember what it's about. The next one I have is Special A volume 1 through 17. This is complete. Special A is funny. It's a romantic comedy. A girl and a guy they try to compete each other in the ranks. The guy is always number one and the girl tries to beat him. She's always rank number two. Freaking hilarious, recommend it. And I watched it a lot during my teenage years. <laughs> also on the anime, I, I don't know, I just really love it. I guess it's really nostalgic. I just haven't finished reading the last two volumes yet. The next one I have here is Kitchen Princess volume one through 10. I also got this back in middle school. This one is also very similar to Full Moon. It just doesn't have an anime adaptation, but I think the manga is really good. So you should totally give this one a go to. The next one is Sakura Hime. This one is also the same author as Full Moon. I haven't finished reading it. This is also a complete series. I kind of forgot what it's about. <laughs> it's been so long since I read it and I still haven't finished it so the ending I have no idea how it ends but I know this one I think it was pretty good. The next one we have is the same author as Full Moon and Sakura Hime which is Phantom Thief Jean. I think is how you pronounce the name. I don't know what it's about. I know it's really popular by the same author so I'm gonna have to give it a read sometimes. Next shelf I have Yotsubato or Yotsuba and volumes 1 through 15. This is up to date. I don't know if the series is completed or not but they just released volume 15 so I had to pick that one up. I only read a few chapters into Yotsubato so I just know it's a really cute story with a girl that does daily things and it just makes it look cute. The next one is Fruits Basket volume 1 through 23 complete. This one I currently saw all the anime episodes so I'm up to date on that and I'm waiting to finish the anime first before I read the manga. This series gets deep pretty fast. I have no idea how it ends. I hope it's a happy ending. Next one is Nichi Joe, My Ordinary Life. I haven't really read this one much either, but it's the same author as Yotsuba and I picked it up off of eBay and it was in the same set as Yotsuba to, so why not get both? Next one I have is Your Name, Kimi no Nawa. This one is so good. I love, love, love the movie. Oh my gosh. The soundtrack is amazing. I remember I had a phase where I constantly listened to the, sa the soundtrack from this movie and I played in the car on my way to work. Oh my gosh. I had to pick up the manga. I love it. Love it so much. Next one I have is Horimiya. This one is like really hard to get your hands on right now at least for the English volume so I had to pick it up in Japanese and even then it was like on back order because I know a lot of people are getting this manga and I saw the anime series first it was really really good especially the first several episodes it just got me hooked and I was having the feels oh my gosh like Ooh, so good. I can't wait to dive into the manga. And down here I have Hafei Chiku. I'm not sure what this is about, but this is also complete. And so far everything I said up there is complete, but this one is also complete. This one I just picked up because it was a deal on Mercari. I don't know what it's about. Yeah, I'm probably gonna read this sometime soon. I picked up because it's also shoujo. It's a good way to practice Japanese. Should be something hopefully easy to read. Next one I have is From 5 to 9 Complete. I saw the Japanese drama for this series and I thought it was really good, although it's kind of weird because it deals with like a relationship with a teacher and a monk so <laughs> that's still kind of odd to me that monks can have relationships I guess I'm not sure how it all works but that's how the series went I'm not sure how different it is from the drama but I'm pretty sure it is I will have to give this a read sometime and then down here is just a little bit of uh, miscellaneous things I got Japanese from zero and then I have boxes over here for my androids and I also use some of these extra boxes obviously to give my mangas a rise on the back row so next we have is is my second bookshelf. I'm going to go ahead and now open it. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so 
top shelf right here is my BL shelf. I have this foam board right there just because the sun does go over here and you can see there's like a gap up here. So I use the foam board to kind of protect my books on the back row and keep the top part of the volumes from yellowing. Hopefully it works. I don't even know how effective this is, but yeah. <laughs> I, in the back I have all of Ginger Romantica up to date, including some of the special edition volumes that comes with extra little booklets. And I also got some DVDs back there. Here is The World's Greatest First Love in English. I hopefully want to get it in Japanese because I don't plan on collecting the English one anymore but I'll still keep it. <laughs> and then here's Dakaichi volumes 1 through 7 and a couple of acrylic stands and I also got this art print from my aunt. She makes yaoi art prints and charms. The All the charms back there are from her. This is another shelf which is kind of random. So in the back I have Yuri Yuri volumes 1 through 14 up to 18. I think this is up to date. I don't know why volumes 15 through 18 is a lot shorter. <laughs> this is, I don't know what happened there, but yeah, this is what I got. So next one is Hinajan Change volumes 1 through 3. This is up to date. I haven't read this one yet. Recommendations from the anime man. He made it sound really amazing. So I got all three volumes. Next one is R18. This one is off of Mercari. got it because it was cheap. <laughs> Closeted degenerate here. <laughs> And then volumes 1 through 10. I don't want to say this in English, but this is Boku wa Imoto ni Koyo Suru. Yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know. I got a video on it in one of my unboxing videos. Next one is Bakuman volumes 1 through 20 complete. And then this one is Absolute Boyfriend Karashi Z. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait, I said that wrong. Zetai Karashi. <laughs> Absolute boyfriend one volumes one through six. Oh my gosh, it's still morning and my voice is like still waking up. Next one is this shelf. I think these shelves just kind of get worse and worse. That's kind of why they're behind the covers. <laughs> so I got Dead Man Wonderland volumes one through thirteen. This is complete. I saw the anime for this one. I thought it was amazing when I was a teenager. It, le it left on a cliffhanger. How about the volumes? I don't know when I'm gonna read it yet, but it left me on a cliffhanger, so I had to get it. Next one is Adoku Mushi. Recommendations from the anime man. I had to get it because I started reading online and I was like, dang, this is so good. So I got all six volumes. And the next one we have is Pumpkin Night. This one is also another horror manga. I guess it's... Okay, so I got like five volumes, the first two, and the last three are different covers because they're from different publishers. The first two volumes are from the old publishing and now they switch it to the last three. So they don't match. I didn't know that. I had no idea. I ordered off a of CD Japan and I just got what was available. Covers don't match. It sucks, but I think this is what we have up to date. And then Killing Stocking. Originally a Korean manga, they translated it to Japanese. Expensive as heck! Oh my gosh, it's so expensive, but like, it's so good. I don't know if they're gonna release the rest in Japanese. I hope they do. It just takes a really long time, and if they do, I would pick it up. The next one we have here is Inuyasha, the anime manga, volumes 1 through 11. This is not complete. I got this one as my very first manga series ever. That I ever had collected. Volume 1 right there was given to me by my cousin and that's how I was introduced into anime and manga. I think I got that like over 10 years ago. It's been like actually maybe even over 15 years ago. It's been so long. I've been into the anime and manga community since childhood and still love it today as you can tell. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I'll be completing that one because the anime manga is the exact same as the anime but in manga format I would rather just buy the manga itself. So the next one we have here is Redo of Healer, volumes 1 through 8. This is up to date, brand new. Love it so much. I ordered it at regular price. <laughs> I do not regret it. I love it. I read the whole thing online, had to get a copy, and if they have another one, I'll definitely pick that up. Next one is Yokosoku no Neverland or The Promised Neverland, volumes 1 through 20. Haven't had time to read it. I saw the anime. I know a lot of people dislike the anime. I'm personally okay with it, probably because I haven't read the manga, but it's still good. I think it's okay. I mean, I, I am not too critical when it comes to anime, so <laughs> I try to enjoy as much as I can. And at least I have the manga, so eventually I'll give this a chance. And I have tried to read the manga, but my gosh, the kanji and the words, it's a little bit above my level right now. And the next one I have is Death Note Volumes 1 through 12 complete. This one is a classic. You gotta own this in your collection. Like, <laughs> especially if you are an avid reader, you probably have this one in your collection because my gosh, it's so good. Same creator as Bakuman. So yeah, I had to get this one. And I also got it off of Makari for a good deal. So not complaining there. Next one I have is Berserk. All volumes up to date. Volumes 1 through 40. 
I think this is up to date, right? I don't know if it's completed. I don't think it's completed. Yeah, I don't know what Berserk is about, but I just know that I've seen it in a lot of people's collections, especially the deluxe volumes. I wish I could have gotten the deluxe volumes, but I got 40 volumes for $105 or something. Like, it was cheap. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get in Japanese because it's cheaper secondhand. Still saved me some money, why not? I got all of it on my shelf. Someday I'll read it. <laughs> So it's a little bit above my level, so eventually. And here's the bottom shelf. I got a Black Butler Sebastian figurine box that's just sitting here. And then I got some couple of art books that there's a Hannah Montana folder right here. <laughs> it's a Hannah Montana folder. I'm actually a really huge fan of Miley Cyrus, so don't judge me on that. Um, I have some Dojins in there, so yeah, Hannah Montana's covering it up. <laughs> and the next one I have is the Jump Magazine. I got this one because of the Death Note extra death note sequel that comes with it so i had to pick this one up. i'm sure they have their own manga version of the book out by now but i already got the magazine and it's in bubble wrap because i have silverfish that comes out during summer and stuff and they go and they eat my magazine they eat the papers especially this one right here this is a vampire night art book and it was eaten so badly i have to cover it up in bubble wrap <laughs> just to protect my books honestly i hate these little bookshelf bugs so annoying and then right here i have one piece volume two black butler volumes one to three yotsubato three to six this is all vietnamese volumes like when i went to vietnam this is what i could pick up for, as a souvenir for myself and then i have a naruto fan book which is in korean when i went to korea the airport i only went to the airport in seoul and i saw their bookshelf and i was like whoa they have so much manga here of course i can't read korean but i picked up one as a souvenir i thought it was a manga for some reason but it turned out to be a fan book so that's kind of disappointing i should have bought like the obvious volumes <laughs> for some reason i thought this was like a movie volume or something i don't know <laughs> so it's just sitting down here next one i have is uzumaki gyo and junji ito's cat diary remina no longer human i bought all of this in one go because i was craving horror and it's so funny by the time i got it it's like okay i'm ready to get out of horror <laughs> and so far i read remina no longer human i started on the cat's diary didn't finish it started on uzumaki haven't finished it yet and i need to get to gyo eventually and buy the rest of junji ito's mangas because i think they're really good and i can see why there was like such a big hype around his horror mangas my favorite is no longer human i really enjoy that story remina was also enjoyable too but the ending was kind of meh so yeah this is my entire bookcase wow this is everything that da Oh, this right here. Wow. This is still my favorite shelf. <laughs> and then followed by the BL shelf. I'm so proud of these two shelves. I love it so much. And then you have like all of this degenerate stuff going on here. <laughs> hidden behind the covers. Yeah. Thank goodness this is in Japanese. My gosh. I would be screwed otherwise. Wow, I didn't think I was actually going to talk this long. <laughs> So I hope you guys like this video. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and enjoy my content. Go ahead and subscribe. I just make doll videos for now, but once in a while I make some manga content videos. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.